Welcome to Wild World News. What is happening, Magnusites? Welcome back to Wild World News. My, my, my. Let's check this out. Let's check this out, shall we? From what I understand, a couple has had their proposal ruined by a Disney employee. From what I hear, they were going to do the thing. He was asking her, and Disney employee got in the way and asked him to move it along. Well, let's check it out. Take a look at this on CNN. Paris. The guy about to propose sure thought it would be romantic as he dropped to his knee. Okay. But suddenly a Disney employee in Mickey Mouse ears barged in and snatched the ring. Millions of people have watched the video online. It's the man from Germany who proposed exchanged words with Mouse wow. ears. Wow. Yes, that's great. But over here she's going to be even better. But it was not better for the employee who got incinerated online. Disneyland Not calls sure. itself the happiest place on earth unless this loser is on duty. The man proposing told the New York Times, Disneyland stands for dreams. Our moment was destroyed. The couple gave only their first names, Ante and Rosa. Disney had figured large in their relationship. Early on, Ate gave Rosa a rose in glass, similar to the one in Beauty and the Beast. Now the Disney employee was being portrayed as a beast. Online critics demanded he be punished. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast. But those familiar with the park say the fenced-off platform is used for multiple live shows daily. This particular platform this couple were standing on is surrounded by expensive speakers, lights, and most importantly, pyrotechnic equipment. Ante says he asked another employee if it was okay to use the platform for a proposal, and she said go for it. But Mouse Ears was not as easy going. Uh, Disney uh, did apologize, and Ante told the Times they were offered a free weekend hotel included at any Disney park. But he said, I don't want to visit Disneyland anymore. They can't give us the moment back, and that's the only thing I want. She may have said yes, but now they're telling Disney no. Yes, that's great, but over here she's going to be even better. Genie Rose, CNN. New York. <laughs> Man. <laughs> It'd be so much better up here. Oh, man. <sighs> I wouldn't have had that tight white shirt on. I know that. I know I wouldn't have had that tight white shirt on. <laughs> I'd have chiseled up before I did that proposal and wore that shirt. Um... Well, seems to be two different things here. Seems to be that you, um, you're not supposed to be up there. But they asked an employee, could they do it? So, they were just saying that it was used for pyrotechnics and stuff like that, so... It's quote unquote possibly dangerous that something could happen. You could touch something, you could hit something, you fall, you could do whatever. However, however, look, if I was an employee, I would let them do it. And then, you know, after they're all, you know, now oh, you kiss, people are taking pictures and anything. Oh, you know, just be like, listen, you know, we let you do it. I was supposed to be able to do that. I'm sorry what the other employee said. Sorry for the confusion and this and that. And maybe y'all need to beef up, you know, I don't know, people the people keeping that area secure. Because, you know. Oh man. <laughs> That's a once in a lifetime thing, man. Some people only goes to Disney, like go to Disneyland or 
Disney World once in a lifetime. It's like a family trip. Everyone wants to go to Disney. Even my mom did that for us for a kid. She um, saved up, and that was our big family trip. She had a fat wallet on the way down, and when we came back, it was really thin. But we were happy kids and happy family, and, you know, I don't know. You, that's, oh, man, that he... I wouldn't have did that. And his face is visible and people know who he is. And I think that would have, uh, that messed people up, I think. So, you know, it is what it is. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed, I wonder if they fired him for it. I don't know if they would have. Because if they're really not supposed to be up there. And he was doing his job, but it was his, his timing was horrible. Timing was absolutely horrible. Um, and, you know, I do not condone harassing the guy, you know, all that. So, you, you, don't do that. Don't do that. Some people are just super at doing their job. You know, we've all been in the workplace where is that extra zealous person where it's kind of like eh, you didn't have to tell that customer that you know it was a little extra zealous about doing your job you know there's there's something called tact okay there's something called tact and understanding how to talk to people and handle certain certain situations i am pretty much 100 percent sure that if they had let him get down on his knee and propose, finish the pro first of all, he's already down there. If they had let him f finish the proposal, everything would have been smoothly. You know, from what I hear, that area is somewhere where most, or a lot of people uh, propose. Maybe not in that particular spot, but I guess maybe he wanted the elevation, the angle in front of the castle or whatever. So, you know, whatever. Uh, don't go harassing the guy, you know. But uh, uh, I'm about to lose all this weight, but it's big guy to big guy, I wouldn't have had that shirt on, bro. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on this news, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!